Okay, now let's look at the DNA, but the DNA can be prone to the acid hydrolysis, not the alkali hydrolysis. So what kind of acid hydrolysis can be uh, mm, established in DNA solutions? If you have DNA, we add the acid in the DNA. What happens is acid will cleave the hydrogen bonds in the very first linkage, and after the cleaving of hydrogen bonds, it will break uh, the bond, it, it will break the glycosidic linkage from here, it will break the phosphodiest, uh, pho no, phosphodiest linkage is not break, uh, not broken, only it will break first the hydrogen bonds, the interaction between the bases, and the second situation, this is the first situation, when it breaks the hydrogen bonds, and this is the second situation when it breaks the end glycosidic bond, that means the bond between sugar and uh, the base pair. And after this two breakage, the phosphodiester linkage uh, remains as it is, as it was actually. This is the cleavage of uh, acid hydrolysis when the acid group act as an electrophile. So it is an electrophilic attack as we have seen. But in the previous picture, we have seen a nucleophilic attack. So here is the nucleophilic attack, here is the electrophilic attack in case of RNA, uh, DNA. So DNA is prone to acid hydrolysis, RNA is prone to uh, alkaline hydrolysis because DNA cannot be uh, hydrolyzed by alkali because DNA do not possess any hydroxyl group in the C carbon, C2 carbon position. It have only one hydrogen. That's why it is called a deoxyribonucleic.